the, the other critique being that we shouldn't use AI to measure our expressions because the science upon which the AI is built may be flawed, right? And you guys, you have firsthand experience more so than anybody I know in my life that can speak to me about not just abstractly this idea, this concept, but like you've been in the weeds, in the trenches, teaching AI and working on this for years. This is what you, this is where you eat, buddy. So when someone <laughs> says uh, and asks the question, should we be using AI to measure our expressions? Uh, and, and to what end? I, you're the person I want to hear respond to that. So if, if you will re respond. Yeah. I mean, there, there's all these issues that get conflated in these arguments. You know, when, when they're talking about this, they usually say, you know, AI doesn't, can't detect emotions or AI can't read emotions or emotion AI is pseudoscience. And all of this is based on the idea that, you know, it goes back to the argument that expressions are either involuntary readouts of our in internal states or they're completely meaningless. And when you say a measure of expressions, you know, then it makes it really clear that this is an important tool. It's a tool yeah. for understanding what people are trying to communicate because a lot of what people are saying is not just in their words but also in the way that they say things um, there is a relationship between expressions and emotions it's more complicated they're not entirely you know there's a spectrum from like unconscious involuntary which you know expressions are not um, to completely voluntary always completely within our control which is more like words and expressions are kind of in between they're like words and then we can choose whether to express what we're feeling so at, uh, at base you know uh, like words we don't always say what we think we don't always think what we say words are really powerful tools for communication nonetheless the same goes uh, for expression where expressions differ from words is that we have an urge to express ourselves sometimes sometimes we can't help but laugh there's some things like blushing that are completely outside of our voluntary control most expressions are within our voluntary control but they can also be difficult to fake you know it's easier yeah. to form an expression that's consistent with what we're feeling than one that's inconsistent with what we're feeling and that's the very thing that makes acting difficult and that makes people who express their feelings to each other trust each other more more than if it was just in text right and what yeah. makes you trust somebody when you're with them and you're able to communicate more successfully when you're with them uh, and so it's really, uh, it's, it, it's a false dichotomy, our expressions involuntary readouts um, or, or meaningless, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. And the idea that because expressions aren't involuntary readouts of our emotions, that we shouldn't have technologies that measure them, um, that's like a non sequitur, right? Because uh, you don't have to believe expressions are direct windows into our emotions to understand that they're meaningful. Um, and you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's taken off in, in kind of, I think, a harmful way. I mean, there's, there's many ways uh, in which it's extremely important to be able to measure expressions with technology and do so in a way that's transparent to humans. For one thing, technology that measures expressions is going to, it's, it's here whether we like it or not. You know, the, the large language models, uh, any large machine learning model that processes human data comes up with representations of expressions. This has been well documented. There are representations of emotion in GPT-3, of expression in DALI, and in all of these large language models. But we just, without having a way of measuring that, we can't control it. We can't say, this is what you should do when you measure uh, an expression. This is how you should respond. These are the good expressions. These are the bad expressions. And so we really need this technology to develop uh, in tandem to be able to uh, control and optimize how technologies treat our emotional behaviors. Uh, and so I think it can do harm to have this uh, argument going around.